Hello YouTube, my name is Amulli and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Ruby on Rails on Ubuntu 16.04 So if you have any older or the latest Ubuntu you can just visit this website I will leave this URL in the description okay so this is my go-to website whenever I have to install Ruby on Rails on my Ubuntu operating system. So I have been using since Ubuntu 14.04. So whatever operating system you have, Microsoft Windows, Mac OS X, or Ubuntu, whatever distro, uh, you visit this website. I mean, whatever version of Ubuntu. So thank you so much. Let's go ahead and get started. All you have to do basically copy and paste everything. So copy this one, go to terminal, paste it, enter your pseudo password, super user password and that's done. Then you copy this thing here all together, copy it, go to paste it and press enter say yes why this will take a while next step here I will suggest you uh, install rbm rbm is just <laughs> I didn't like it I didn't like it Let's install RBM. It's still doing here. I'm not sure. Installing with RBM is simple. Two step process. First, you install RBM, then Ruby built. Build. So, here we are. Processing trigger triggers. And done. Clear. Okay, now you simply say CD clone. This is what you have to do. Copy paste cloning to home aks dot and once that's done a correct copy it I copied it okay go to terminal where is it done echo this one and done then you try it. Okay, then git clone this one. But this is from GitHub, so you are just downloading it. Git, you're cloning it. So. Cloning to plugins Ruby built. They're done now. The other part is this one. So RVM is very tough sometimes. They keep changing. Now, I don't know why. So here we go. Now RVM installed 2.4.2. This is going to install the Ruby. And let me just clear it. And this is all. It's downloading. Installing. Before I used to install with RVM, later on I realized, oh, it's more simpler 
to do with this one rpn then rbm so i guess it's done here it's still installing Hmm. Okay. RBN Global 2.4.2. That's what I'm going to do. <coughs> Sorry. I don't know why it's taking too long. I guess it's almost done here. Hmm. So two for two point four point two is a lot of changes. Ruby two point four point two. I did not read anything but I just heard and realized that this has come up with a lot of new features and which is awesome. So this is my first language. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I was almost introduced to programming or to the coding through Ruby. Okay, come on. I don't know what happened. Should I try again? Okay, so I'll be right back once it's done. Hello friends, thank you for your patience. So it really took a long time. What I did basically I I installed 2.3.5 because this was taking too long time however I guess it took the similar time but I just wanted to try 2.3.5 this should work on your desktop this is my virtual machine now let's go ahead and set as a default so global so rbn global and the name uh, whatever ruby version is it that's done then you want to check ruby v sorry what happened why it's not working so ruby oh it worked 2.3.5 64 now let's go ahead and install Okay, now I'll launch my terminal again, then I'm quickly going to install the bundler. Gem install bundler. Press enter. I do not want to configure git, but if you want, here is the way you can do it.
Okay. I would go with this is the most latest one if you want to install you can do that and now we will quickly install node.js it's a very simple copy this paste it here press enter enter your password and okay that's done sudo apt get installed node js get install okay here we go Okay, now I'll exit and just reopen it to check whether I have Node.js installed or not. Node, so it's it, it's been installed. Exit. Oh, C. And then we will install the Ruby on Rails. So sudo app get sorry gem install rails now here's the tip i do not want to install the documentation so no ri no r dot and obviously this is going to install the most latest one on your system by default This may take a minute. Then, if you want to install any specific database like Postgres, PostgreSQL, uh, MySQL, anything of your choice, you can do that. I would love to use my sorry, SQLite. <laughs> That's enough for me right now. building native extensions that takes time here installed thread safe successfully installed successfully successfully building native extension this could take a while Okay, here we go. So let's check the Rails version 5.1.4. Exit and launch the terminal again. Ruby Rails. Alright, so this is how you install Ruby on Rails on Windows 10 computer. Let me quickly go ahead and check. So I'm going to create a folder, sorry, create a folder, R box, get it in this folder, and then I'm quickly going to create an application. So Rails generate the fold ready now. Title description and image of oh, description text image
what is it saying? Am I missing something? Okay. So this is with this. Where's new? index All right, so it's almost done here. I will quickly go ahead and launch this server. SAS 3.5.1, run bundle, okay. Rails server. And Puma has just booted up, so Let's get here local host three thousand, and this is Ruby on Rails five point one point four on Ruby two point three point five six to four bit. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe for my channel. Have a good day, guys. Goodbye. Bye. For now.